Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Ashim Ali Khan. So far, 21 problems I've completed on capital gain. Now, in this video, three more problems that is 22, 23, 24. Three more problems I'm going to explain. So, few more problems are left in this topic of capital gain. Then we can be able to finish off all the provisions of capital gain. So, watch all the videos till the end. Last video, I have explained exemption under section 54. When an SSC sold one residential house and within the stipulated period of two years or three years, he has purchased another residential house. In that case, exemption under section 54 will be allowed. But in this video, one more problem under section 54B. So when an SSC can get exemption under section 54B, that I am going to explain. But before going ahead, uh, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the point, then I'll explain. Come on, see the problem number 22. Mr. Khurshid Alam Khan sold his residential property for 64,36,000. This is the consideration received. Before selling the house, rupees 75,000 is spent for repairs and renovation. Advertisement is given in local newspaper for sale of the house 26,500 and other transfer expenses 11,000. The Income Tax Act says, Whenever a property is sold, any transfer expenses should be deducted from consideration received. Consideration received 64,36,000. From that 64,36, deduct all the expenses, renovation expenses, advertisement expenses, other, I mean, transfer expenses. The cost of acquisition 4,28 years ago. If FMB on 1st April 20, 2001 is 9,50,000 and the stamp duty value is 9 lakh. He added one more floor in 2001-2002 with a cost of 4 lakh CII 100. After selling this building, immediately he purchased a small house for 15 lakh and deposited 1 lakh in capital gain account scheme in the bank. Calculate income from capital gain and tax liability if income from other heads is 5 lakh rupees. So very simple here. First of all, consideration receipt. The house was sold for 30, uh, 64 lakh 36,000. Consideration receipt minus transfer expenses. In this problem, separate transfer expenses are given for renovation, advertisement, etc. So repair and renovation 75,000 and advertisement 26,500, other transfer expenses 11,000. So total transfer expenses 1 lakh 12,500. Deduct. We'll get 63 lakh 23,500. This is the net consideration. From this, we subtract the indexed cost of acquisition and indexed cost of improvement. Both are given in the problem. First of all, he purchased the house before 1-4-2001. So the SSC can choose higher the actual cost or the FMV. So here the actual cost was, to, uh, how much is the actual cost? 4 lakh. But the FMV on 1-4-2001 is 9 lakh 50,000. So he will not select 4 lakh. He will select the higher 9,50,000. But on that day, the stamp duty value was 9 lakh. So Income Tax Act says whichever is lower should be taken, whether stamp duty value or FMV. Here FMV value is more, stamp duty value is 9 lakh, that is less. So we should take 9 lakh. So stamp duty 9 lakh into 331, current previous year index. Index number for 22-23 is 331 even if it is not given you must remember and the index number on 142001 is 100 now multiply you'll get 29,79,000 is the indexed cost of acquisition now indexed cost of improvement he has added one more floor during 2001-2002 by incurring 4 lakh rupees that is given in the problem so 4 lakh into 331 by 100 because Index number for the year 2001-2002 is 100. That is also given. So 30 lakh 24,000. So total of indexed cost of acquisition and indexed cost of improvement comes to 43 lakh 3,000. Deduct 
will get capital gain 20 lakh 20,500. From this, we deduct exemption under section 54. Because Hurshid Alam Khan has sold one house property and purchased another residential house within the stipulated period. So exemption will be allowed to the amount spent on purchasing the new house and also the amount deposited in capital gain account scheme. So here, how much is, what is the cost of the new house? 15 lakh is the cost of the new house and 1 lakh rupees he has deposited in capital gain account scheme. So total 16 lakh. So here in working note, I have not written but in examination you must write a working note here. What working note? The SSC sold one residential house and purchased another residential house. So exemption under section 54 will be given to the least of the following two amounts. The first, the cost of the new house and amount deposited in capital gain account scheme. That is 15 lakh plus 1 lakh, 16 lakh. Or the capital gain amount. How much is the capital gain amount? 20 lakh, 20,500. So 16 lakh or 20 lakh 20,500 whichever is least 16 lakh is least so 16 lakh is allowed as exemption under section 54 if 16 lakh deduct you'll get 4 lakh 20,500 this is the long term capital gain taxable apart from that he is having income from other heads 5 lakh so income from other heads 5 lakh this is the normal income so first we compute the tax on normal income by applying slab system. The first slab up to 2,50,000. Income 2,50,000 nil. No tax. Basic exemption. Second slab goes from 2,50,000 to 5 lakh. Uh, 2,50,000 to 5 lakh. It is 2,50,000. The tax rate is 5%. So 5% it comes to 12,500. So tax on normal income 12,500. Now tax on LTCG, 20% flat rate. So 4,250,000 into 20%, 84,100. Total 96,600. To this we add health and education, says 4%. So tax liability 87,464. Rounded off to the next 10, nearest 10. So ignore 4 rupees, you'll get 60. 87,460 is the tax due. That's it. This is the end of problem number 22. Now, 23rd problem. Srimati Vanaja sold her residential house for 28 lakh. This is the consideration receipt. The cost of which 16 years ago back was 3,90,000 cost inflation index 100. This is the actual cost of acquisition. After selling the house, within two months, she had started constructing the new house. Remember section 54 says the SSC can get exemption under section 54 if he, if he purchases a new house or if he construct a new house. In both the cases exemption will be allowed under section 54 whether purchase a new house or construct a new house. This is the first problem where SSC is constructing a new house. So how much amount is spent on construction? The amount spent on construction during the last day of the previous year was 4 lakh and she deposited 6 lakh in the bank under capital gain account scheme 1988. So total 4 lakh rupees spent on construction and 6 lakh rupees deposited in capital gain account scheme. So total 10 lakh rupees. Then calculate income from capital gain and tax liability if income under other heads 9 lakh 21,000. So first we compute how much is the long, long term capital gain, LTCG, then we compute tax liability. Srimati Vanata, consideration received 28 lakh, no transfer fees is given, no transfer expenses are given, nil. So 28 lakh is the net consideration. Now indexed cost of acquisition, she has purchased that house property 16 years back for 3 lakh 90,000. But we are not given FMB, so directly we will take a cost of acquisition only. So 3,90,000 into 331 by 100, 12,90,900. Capital gain we got 15,9,100. From this exemption under section 54, he has sold one residential house and started constructing another residential house. The amount spent on construction 4 lakh. 
and amount deposited in capital gain account scheme 6 lakh so 4 plus 6 10 lakh so 10 lakh exemption is given 10 lakh uh, so capital gain or amount deposited so capital gain amount is 15 lakh 9100 or 10 lakh whichever is less will be allowed so 10 lakh is less so ultimately long term capital gain is 5 lakh 9100 this is the long term capital gain taxable at a flat rate of 20 percent now other income she is have also having other income of 9 lakh 21000 this is the normal income on which slab system will apply so income under other heads normal income 9 lakh 21000 slab income rate tax up to 2 lakh 50000 first slab 2 lakh 50000 income 2 lakh 50000 nil no tax second slab goes from 2 lakh 50000 1 to 5 lakh the income is 2 lakh 50000 5 percent 12500 now from 5 lakh 1 to 10 lakhs but our income is not going up to 10 lakh our income is only 9, uh, 9 lakh 21,000. So we will take the balance. So 9 lakh 21,000 minus 5 lakh. The balance is 4 lakh 21,000. On this 4 lakh 21,000, 20% is the slab, the rate of tax. So 20% comes to 84,200. The so tax on normal income is 96,700. To this, we add tax on LTCG 20% of 5 lakh 9,100. 1,1820 total tax 1,98520 to this add 4% health and education says 7941 so 2,6461 the last one is there ignore 1 to 460 rounded off to 2,6460 in examination you must show all these calculations apart from that you must also write about exemption under section 54. I'm not writing here. That's why I'm saying always keep a notebook ready while watching this video. You must note down the points which I'm explaining. <clears throat> now, 24th problem. Mr. Chunnilal of Bidar Town sold his 10 acres of agricultural land at rupees 5 lakh per acre. Previous 2-3 problems we have seen the SSC sold residential house. But in this problem the SSC sold agricultural land. So Income Tax Act has given the provision. If an SSC sold an agricultural land and within stipulated period purchased another agricultural land. In that case exemption will be given under section 54B sold residential house and purchased another residential house exemption under section 54 sold agricultural land and purchased another agricultural land exemption under section 54 that point you remember now Mr. Chunnilal of Bidar Town sold 10 acres of agricultural land at 5 lakh rupees per acre so 5 lakh into 10 50 lakh is the consideration received which he acquired 15 years ago at 21,800 per acre cost inflation index 109 so 15 years ago he has purchased for 21,800 per acre so how many acres 10 acres he has purchased so 10 into 21,800 you will get 2,18,000 is the cost of acquisition after 6 months he purchased another agricultural land for 40 lakh he sold one agricultural land and within a stipulated period he has purchased another agricultural land. So exemption under section 54 will be allowed. Calculate income from capital gain. Consideration received 50 lakh. 5 lakh into 10. Transfer expenses not there. Net consideration. Indexed cost of acquisition. He has purchased this agricultural land for 21,800 per acre. So 21,800 into 10, you will get 2,18,000. Into 331 divided by 109, it is given in the problem, the index number of the year of purchase, 109. So 6,62,000 deduct, you will get 43,38,000 is the capital gain. Now from this, 
we have to direct exemption under section 54b so here you have seen the ssc has transferred agriculture land and purchased another agriculture land so exemption can be given under section 54b the exemption is list of the following two amounts the cost of the new agricultural land 40 lakh it is given in the problem and the capital gain amount is 43 lakh 38 thousand whichever is least 40 lakh is least so exemption under section 54b is 40 lakh take 40 lakh here 3 lakh 38 thousand is the long term capital gain ltc so you have seen almost all the points are same except one or two new points that you have to remember so we have completed 22, 23, 24 problems. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video.